All of us. Sorry for asking for too many letters. No, no, no. no, no I got excited. So first time I've ever done. Uh, well, I actually used to go to its time as a kid, okay? And I haven't been in this facility ever since. And now I'm helping a Kiva Balter with Zoom. So it's the first time I've been here since I was a little kid. Thank you so much.
are showing two views. Nina there
Those who join this incredible triple simcha, not only is it a Hanukkah Sabbath for the Toronto Theater, also it's Arab Hanukkah, and of course, an amazing Afrosa Sabbath return. We're going to continue the dancing inside in about five minutes, so the camera will up. Thank you, and stay tuned. I am the 
We're going downstairs to have a Sudas Mitzvah of lunch, and there will be some speeches. We will be streaming those to you, and it will be in approximately 20 minutes. So we're going to shut the cameras for now, and we will be back in 20 minutes. Thank you for tuning in. And a prayer of Hanukkah. This is a really a double circle for us. A double circle for us. It's a positive player and a political bias. Rashi in Brish is down, pressing it down, says. And Rashi says, What does it mean, Kanika? Who has us, and she will also And Rashi says, which is very apropos, is very apropos, but it's not a bias. The image is looking down here and, and seeing a beautiful, beautiful moment. But it's not because of what we do. That's the Hanukkah. And just seeing the Simcha on the face of everybody in our Mazake, all the, all the issues that we went through over the past couple of years, it was all worth it. The Gavali got cars at night in this beautiful building. And I can wait to you. If you've ever been taken to come here and dive in, it's a beautiful base marriage and a beautiful dive in. For me, I appreciate being in the base marriage. They appreciate being in beautiful classrooms. For Hashem, the learning is about the Kamei Rashi. In Yeshaya, Perak Yud, Prophet Gidai, it says, "Mahayim are you strong the age? But the day she will have a bar of a shizay shal kufor." The Mechadashi over here says in Yeshaya, we're talking about. The parsh of Chizki Amalek, who a day is happening, and the entire army of Sakhir got destroyed in one night. And who destroyed the army of Sakhir? The Gemara says it was a lot of the Tsar and Ish. So Rashi says, Hatera, Shahisu Kwa Chizkiya, Tila Ish, not of Sakhir. Those of Rashi, what Rashi is saying, Rashi is saying, Tera is not only Megan, Tera is like an Ish Rifle. Of Yoko, like an Ish Rifle. Well, the Rabbein told me today a little bit about karma. He said, he said about H, H is Shiyos and Alekha. The H of Tehra should be right to Shmir for us as we go forward. It also says, my Chizkiya, the famous name of Brachas, not Tehra, Pesach, Pesach, Medrash, for Allah, he said, he put a sword by the Pesach, Medrash. 
Which, by the way, today we did it would not work because the Tomi would take the sword do something to us. They took a sword and he said, Tomi showed me to Kabera, he took a Mechera Zu. What does the Mechera Zu get stopped with the sword? What could be done via Be'er Sheva? They looked at every Amor, every lady, every man, and they could find anybody that wasn't a bucket and almost took them down with a great difficulty. I don't know if one of the Rabbi or Mesh Rabban was asked to he said, Why is that the place to put? To put the hair. The hair she put on the Asian corners, by the people who are lounging on the corners, that's you with the hair to get the word. The Russian said, I think it's Emma Samita, he said, when you go to a king, you go to a general, what does he show you? He shows you his war room, this is all my weapons, this is all my ass bombs, this is what I have. That's his pride and joy. Just the ascent of my side, our pride and joy is iron. And it's in the base marriage. And it just gave me the culture. That everybody should sit and learn. And everybody sat and learned. And from Hashem here, in the Khayyar, the Rabbeim, the Gothic Rabbeim that we have, are making it a culture to sit and learn, nothing else. And I'd like to give Shark Riddle, like Rosh Marco, for everything that he's done for us on Pesach and Bologna. Finally, the Pesach says, By he, I said, Ish Matsliyah. So when Ashra pointed out to me that Matsliyah means, Make others about what's sort of someone who's successful, what's clear is something that makes others successful. I think when we can touch up the header, and the header of Matsuya is looking to make others successful, that's really important. It's like calling to call for a bathroom to the Hamas with the Gulf. The shoes the Hoshna Malal, Hoshna Rabonim, Hoshna Rabayan, and all the tired and lechtige Yiddish Kindle. Can you imagine if you will be somebody that's very talented, very musical, and Rabbi Enyu will come up with you a few. Timon just has to make a sauce and then we're done. Bro, look at that. For this, and you'll come up with a song and you'll be searching for the right and appropriate words to fit the song, to bring out the emotions, to bring out the feelings, the irrigation of today's momentous occasion. And you'll come forth to the Manal and you'll ask him, which words should I place this song onto? You'll have a few ideas in your head, perhaps. A new Samachi Boimerly Beta Shanele will be a good idea, but the song that you sang before was so beautiful. It penetrated my heart, and I'm sure everybody else over here, every single morning you sing this when you come to Cheda. This is incredible. I think that song is good on its own, it doesn't have to be changed. What's going to be the words for the song that's going to bring out the emotions of today's event? I'm convinced that I'm now will say, since it's Arab Hanukkah, it's a Hanukkah Sabayas, it's a Hanukkah Sefer Torah, in such a Heilige school, a Heilige Cheda, the song should be placed on the words, Mizmoy Shir Hanukkah Habayas Medovich. The song should be the Mizmoy that we say Hanukkah, and we know from the Chidah that Medovich is Gematria 44, corresponding to 44 Neroys that we light on Hanukkah with the Shamoshim, and this Heilige Moishe that Zeichah does such a manal that illuminates your heart and the minds of these Heilige Yiddish Akindalach is Ms. Moishe Chalukah Tabai Sadovim. But listen, Heilige Akindalach, it goes a lot further than that. A few weeks ago, we were Zeichah to be in Preshvorg by the cave of the Heilige Sam Seifer, the Chusa Yogamalim. I want to show you a drug on Seifer's head Nine years before his Kira. On the Pulsuk, Mizmo Yishir Chanukah Tabai Sadovit. Chazal tell us that the Amalek didn't build the base on Igdash, not at all. That the Amalek, in fact, put away money to build the base on Igdash, but that money was never used for the base on Igdash. That money was given to Chachomen, to Talmide Chachomen, to Moistos. Said the Chazam Soifer, where is that Marumas in the Mizmoy Shir Chanukas Habay Sadovit? But the Zog the Prince Fogger wrote in the last sentence 
of the Mizmor Shira says, Laman Yazamer Kahoid below Yidoin, Hashem Elokai Loy Lamadeko is alluding to the discourse that the Amalek's money was not used for the base of Middosh. Right? The Katan Soy for the word Kahoid, Laman Yazamer Kahoid is referring to Oisha, Mashela, Hinu, Osses, Kala, Kahoid, Azek. Says the Katan Soyfra. If a person invests money in a base of Middosh, there's a limit to his dechusim. It's not forever. It's not everlasting. That my money was given to I'm going to thank you forever and ever. So the man says, I'm thanking the Abisha forever because my money went to Talmidei Chachamim and not to Beis Hamikdash. They come to Yom Tov Chanukah. You sing the Mizmon Shur. Chanukah is something that forever Why is it that Chanukah lasts forever? Beis Hamikdash is not forever, but Chanukah is forever because Chanukah is about the Torah and Doish itself. Hanukkah is restoring the Shikha Satoira. It was a fight to preserve the Kedusha in Claudius Soul, the Torah in Claudius Soul, against La Shikham Torah Sefra, Hashem Eloikai, La Oil on my deco. The celebration today, this Simcha, this Achdazu Seva Torah of this beautiful building, Air of Hanukkah, is a celebration that we like in our city to have such a cheder. That invest so much in the hearts and the minds of the next generation. This avoids this this cheder is everlasting. It's la oil on my deco. The Kuzri tells us, don't be impressed by your bonin. Nothing to write home about. They think they are smart, they think they're clever. Ashaloi Perry. They don't have any fruits. They don't have any results. They don't have any ability to be everlasting, be eternal. Only flowers, no parents. Moises, our prayer, this Heinegger Cheder, has parents to show for itself. Has Talmudim that become our Pizza Torah. We have come and we see in Yeshiva and that was seen. And we keep the Kesha with these Heinegger Bochrim that flourish, that grow, dedicated to the Shemit What's the secret of La Oilo Moi Deco? How is this everlasting? Let me show you a short story. The Heiliger has flawed the pun in the office. The Pilkas and Lager Horowitz from Frankfurt once met an individual. This individual complained to him. When he Ezra, he can't concentrate. His mind isn't focused. He starts wondering, thinking about this, that, the other. Can the Rebbe help me? Said the pun in the office, yes. You know what I'll do? I'll give you my spinning to put on. You put on my spinning, you'll dab them better. This individual took the Heiliger spinning from that floor. He wrapped it around his arm, he put it on his head. At the P. Davenish point of Estra, it was an incredible experience. He felt so spiritually inclined, so elevated. This went on day after day, and one day he gives his spinning into the cipher to be checked. It was quite a shallow, and he gets back the spinning. He puts on those pair of film again. And again, his mind starts wondering about his plans for Sukkot. Where should he go on the Moy trips? Where should he go here? Where should he go there? And he's thinking to himself, what happened? I have the film of that floor. I have the film of Rapunzel's Lady Horowitz from Frankfurt. He used to work. It must be that that cypher stole those Lady Parishios. He went running, he was red in the face. Here, running into the house of the slave and knocking on the door. You're a thief. You're a gather. But uh, take it easy. Calm down. I gave you my filling to check. You took the parishes for yourself. You changed them. And you put simple parishes in the filling. Said the slave, please don't point fingers at me. Don't accuse me. You have the exact same parishes that you gave me. I'll prove it to you. Let's open up the parish filling. He opened up the parish filling. And he showed him a simmer. 
on the corner over there, over the little hole. You see at the end that top how it looks? These are the same tefillin that you got originally. Does that only make sense? Originally, I used to dabble with such fervor, with such passion. What happened? I don't know. Not my problem. Maybe you did something that you're not going for to feel. You went back to the Wilhelm's Lady Harvest to Frankfurt, and he sat there with tears in his eyes. Rebbe, Rebbe, you must help me. You gave me those feelings. It was a lifesaver. It changed the way I dabbled. It changed the way I acted. It connected me. And all of a sudden, I'm wearing these feelings now. I don't feel that again. And I thought perhaps the cipher changed the parishes. I was convinced the cipher called me names on the Hush of the Sharon. Rebbe, what's the secret? Calm down. Let's figure this out. He takes the parent film. The Hedig Economy office takes out an evil, opens up the film, takes out the parishes, analyzes them, looks at the letters, says, Yes, these are the same parishes that I gave you originally. Really, if so, why don't I feel that feeling again? Give me a few hours to ponder this. I'll come back to the end. A few hours later, he comes back, and the Heidegger flaw says, I figured it out. I know the secret. So what is it, Rebbe? He says, when I wore those film, I used to dabble with such enthusiasm, with such chesed, with such passion. I used to sweat while wearing those film. And my sweat accumulated on those batten of the Shaliyad of the Sharosh. And you put on the film, you didn't only put on the parishioys, you put on that sweat, the Heidegger Schweiz, when you gave those fillings to the cipher, he checked the parishes, but conveniently he cleaned off that sweat from those bathrooms. On the streets in the floor, you don't feel that passion. It won't last. It won't be nifty. You that are going to be in this moisture of such manalim and such rabbeim and such moros. And people are invested in this moisture. Val Meshvitz, they sweat. They invest. They are passionate. A day doesn't go by. They don't think of a new idea, a creative plan to make you better doctrine. And it's that Schwitz, and it's that sweat, that determination, that mysterious nefesh that causes that this Heilige moisture to be a moisture that has Shemelekai, the oil of the death of. Maybe I'll meet you in a few minutes. I just want to take this opportunity to thank, first of all, all the Rabon Kashum for coming. All the for meeting, for acting so behaving so nicely, and also the thank of Horowitz. He's really here for me.
Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Can you have water, please? Yeah. Should be up here, Mr. Wayne. And then down here, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. It's okay, Baruch Hashem. That's how it is. We do what we want to I want to thank Rabbi Engel and Rabbi Horowitz for giving me this opportunity personally to be here at the Cheder. I've been a parent at the Cheder for over 25 years. And it's great pride that I got to be here today to watch the Hanukkah Sabayas, a dream of Rabbi Engel, a dream of the board that started this way back in 19. 19- 97, I believe in Shari Tvila, uh, right in the heart of the community. And now I believe again, they're again in the heart of the community. I hope you have really chutta mishulash, really enjoy the three simchas that we have today. Zerub Hanukkah, the Hanukkah Sabayas, and of course the Seachras um, Sefer Torah. Wishing all the Talmidim and the parents and all those who view the Freilich and Hanukkah. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Akiba Balter. I'm giving kudos to the cameraman. And I think Rabbi Engel for mentioning that my name and giving me a free plug. We'll see you again at Simchas, Alichtika, and Freilich Thank you very much. <laughs>